So these are the rows and columns which are required. I have picked so much space so that I can show the calculation very neatly, and you also do it. Well, if it is not possible in straight book, then like yesterday you may tilt the book also. Okay. Now I will write the data of frequency without making mistake. Ten, twelve. 14, 16, 8, 10, sigma f is equal to n is equal to equilibrium. Okay. Now friends, first we will convert our exclusive classes, uh, sorry, our inclusive classes to our exclusive classes. Okay. So, 0.5 will be subtracted from this lower limit. So 0 minus 0 0.5 is minus 0 0.5. One more thing, friends. While writing the class, if any of the value is minus, then see, here we are using the hyphen. Hyphen does not mean minus, but it looks like minus. So how you will write? Whenever you are having a negative value, write it in the bracket, minus 0 0.5. Minus 0 0.5, we have subtracted 0 0.5 in the lower limit. We have added 0.5 to the upper limit. So the boundary points are minus 0.5 to 99.5. Okay, next 99.5. Okay, here we have subtracted and then we have added 299.5. So this should look continuous. Okay, now again 299.5 to 499.5. 499.5. Seven forty nine point five. Seven forty nine point five two. Eight ninety nine point five. Eight ninety nine point five two. Nine ninety nine point five. We don't require any. Friends, our exclusive classes are ready. Now the next thing is upper boundary point and lower boundary point. Okay. Yes. Now. 99.5 minus minus 0.5 so it will be 100 why 100 99.5 minus minus plus 0.5 so class length of first class is 100 then 299.5 minus 99.5 is 200 we may make the box answer should be kept in the box then 499.5 minus 299.5 which will be 200 again next 749.5 minus 499.5 this i should check otherwise i will make a mistake again 749.5 minus 499.5 is 250 Wherever you require, now you are in the standard, please use the calculator, that is not a problem. 899.5 minus 740, 749.5. Last, 999.5 minus 899.5 which will be friends our half sum is completed class length column is completed now mid values mid values we will find out by this because if we are using this thing then uh, 0.5 0.5 every time we need right but you can still check if you are doing with this or if you are doing with this the answers are not changing okay
I will make the thing clear that whenever you are having such things, then your calculations must be shown properly. Okay, friends? Yes. 100 plus 299 divided by 2 that is 199.5 then 300 plus 499 by 2 300 plus 499 by 2 is 399.5 then by 2 is 624.5 then 750 plus 899 divided by 2 750 plus 899 divided by 2 824.5 and last 900 plus 999.5 949.5 So friends, our sum is completed. How we have solved the sum? An inclusive class and we okay. Total of frequency 10, 12, 14, 16, 8, 10. Just a formality. Friends, what I was saying, a inclusive class and frequency were given in the sum. Uh, what we need to find was class length and mid-value. Now friends, remember about the class length. Then in class length compulsory we, we need boundary points. Now boundary points are nothing but exclusive classes. Exclusive classes we have first converted from inclusive to exclusive minus plus. See remember you can remember like this also minus plus and from exclusive to inclusive plus minus. In that way also you can remember. So we have taken the difference and we have found but uh, see while finding the mid value you can use lower limit and upper limit or you can use boundary point also answer will be same but the value of class length will not be same see when we are doing 99.5 minus minus 0.5 the answer is 100 but when you are doing 99 minus 0 the answer is 99 so compulsorily for the class length we need boundary points ok friends that was our sum now going for the next sum ok before going for the next sum uh, more thing which I, I have to discuss is that uh, while converting the cumulative frequency distribution from normal frequency to cumulative frequency distribution which are having classes then both side we will use zero both side we will use zero as you can see the yesterday sum here in starting it was zero use data not for discrete data so a single
less than type cumulative frequency will be started with zero and more than time cumulative frequency will be ended with zero i may repeat the sum from the following information of n less than and more than type cumulative frequency c uh, the data is discrete how we will know the data is discrete there are no classes and their frequency is given so the first column will be of x second column will be of frequency then again less than and more than type cumulative frequency we will obtain okay friends yes numbers of errors per page is the column of x number of pages will be the column of f now cumulative frequency distribution in that less than type cumulative frequency distribution and the next more than type cumulative frequency distribution after that in less than type we have opposite upper boundary points and cumulative frequency that is cf in more than type we have lower boundary points and cumulative frequency cf yeah, yesterday i told that whenever we are having classes then first line should be left as it is but here there is no requirement 0 1 2 3 first i will draw the lines if you need you can delete your book that is not a problem in exam also you can delete your pages not a problem Now, 
140, 110, 120, 30. Sigma f is equal to n dash 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 dash. Friends, now I am taking the total. 140, 110, 120, 130, 4. we are having when we are having continuous data we first need to look that the classes are inclusive or exclusive but this is discrete data so that thing is not to be noted again when we are having continuous data then we have to look upper and lower boundary points here just the given things are now the thing which i need tell is that just now we have seen the note that in the discrete data don't start with zero your data will not be started with zero here or does not end with zero so you should directly use the first thing itself for the less than type more than type afterwards we are saying write the first thing itself the first frequency is 150 otherwise what we were doing there first we were starting with zero then zero plus 140 is 140 but in discrete data directly the first frequency will be the first cumulative frequency always remember in discrete data We don't start with zero. The first cumulative and first frequency will be same. 140 plus 110 is 250. 250 plus 400. That's all. In the same way, the more than type cumulative frequency will not end with zero, but the starting will be the total is. We will start with the total. Total is 400. Now as we know, we will subtract each frequency. 400 minus 140 is 260. 400 minus 140 is 260. Then 260 minus 110. 260 minus 110 is 150. Then 150 minus 120 is 30. Okay, now one more thing. In cumulative, in discrete data, the first frequency will be the first cumulative frequency for less than type, while in the more than type, the last frequency will be the last cumulative frequency. You can know the last frequency is 30 and last cumulative frequency is also 30. So, after this sum, one more note is to be written for understanding. One more note is to be understanding. In discrete data, comma for less than type for less than type first frequency will be the first cumulative. frequency while while in more than time last frequency will be the last cumulative data start with the first frequency so first frequency for less than type will be the first cumulative then we are adding 140 plus 110 is 250 250 plus 120 is 370 370 plus 30 is 400 then next 
for the more than type again we are starting with the total 400 we are subtracting everything 400 minus 140 260 260 minus 110 150 150 minus 120 30 so in That is the thing to understand. You may write this sum and you may write this note after. Okay, friends. Okay, now moving forward to the next. Now first, I am drawing the columns. Okay. 
this is cumulative frequency distribution with more than time in that lower boundary point is given and cumulative frequency cf is given now what we need to prepare original data and in original data first we will obtain class that is exclusive from that exclusive class we will find class inclusive now friends while converting we have seen such sums when we were converting inclusive to exclusive so minus from the lower limit add to the upper limit but now we are doing opposite thing exclusive to inclusive so plus 0.5 to the lower limit and minus 0.5 to the upper limit and from cumulative frequency we will get normal frequency so this much columns are in okay now i am writing the data Now what I said just now what I said just now is that when we are having classes and when we are having cumulative frequency so the first place will be for them only so these all three will also be dash we will start writing from here So 
If you don't understand in this way, 79.5 then it is wrong because this is only upper all these are lower okay now if this is lower limit of this class then this would be upper limit of previous class so in everything we can write like this what we have done normally we are taking it down but now we are moving it up again i will explain the thing that is not a problem for me how much time you say we will repeat now see what is the thing in more than time as i have given in guidelines all will be lower the last will be upper so all will be lower now each limit will go like this understood now from this exclusive we want inclusive because the answer is only this much what is asked in the book obtain inclusive classes with their frequency so this is the inclusive class this is its frequency all these are for understanding but it is required to write now while converting inclusive to exclusive we were subtracting and we were adding but here there is a opposite thing what we should do we should add and we should subtract because it is exclusive now plus 0.5 here so 44.5 plus 0.5 will be 49 subtract from here then it will be 49 so always now here we will add 50 to 54 as you can see there is inclusive class and now there is gap 45 to 49 then this is directly 50 gap of 1 is done 55 to 59 60 to 64 65 to 69 70 to 74 75 to 70 these are the classes now an important thing is to be understood friends here is that how you will obtain from cumulative frequency to normal frequency. So just I will say if you are having more than type then bigger value will be upside smaller value will be lower side. So take the difference of first to second and in less than type all the figures well, yeah. as we, we are moving down the figures will be greater greater but in more than time the highest figure will be at the first place and in the lower limit the highest figure will be at the last place so just you take the difference of each 500 minus 470 minus 390 80 but don't leave 500 minus 470 then 390 minus 290 no 500 minus 470 then 470 minus 390 then 390 minus 290 100 290 minus 240 50 240 minus 90 150 90 minus 10 80 10 minus 0 is 10 now 0 is there so nothing is now this total should be 500 why 500 because the highest value is 500 and it is at the top 30, 80, 150, 150, 80, 10 is 500. Somewhat easy but somewhat difficult to understand. Why it is difficult? In the sum, lower boundary point with cumulative frequency is given. So this is cumulative frequency with more than time. Why more than time? Because the cumulative frequency has the highest value and the last value is zero. So it is more than time cumulative frequency. What is asked in the question to obtain inclusive classes but friends directly inclusive classes are not possible. So first from this observation what we have done we have made exclusive classes but while preparing exclusive classes or, in, uh, or from any type first you remember this is more than type. So all these things are upper boundary and last is the lower. If you are writing 79.5 here then the lower uh, next limit what we will write? 
After this, nothing is given. So first, we should remember this thing very carefully. All these are lower, all these are lower, lower. The last is the now each lower limit will go its upper limit. The exclusive to inclusive it is opposite thing. Plus minus, not minus plus. So I have obtained inclusive pluses. And for cumulative frequency, just what you need to do? Big value minus small value. Big value minus small value. And here it will be dash. Why dash? Because uh, most of the time dash will be here, but now dash is here. Okay? So that's why we do this sum. Now we are going for the seventh sum. In sixth sum, more than type is given, whereas in seventh sum, less than type is given. But class only will be exclusive because we need exclusive classes here. We need an Reading the seventh sum. Obtain an inclusive continuous frequency distribution from the following data. As you can see, the column cumulative frequency and weight less than is given, so it is less than type. Otherwise, by cumulative frequency also you can get the frequency cumulative is first is zero, last is the total, so it is less than type. But only we need inclusive. Uh, sorry, only only we need exclusive classes, no need of inclusive. Now I am drawing the columns for the seventh sum. Cumulative frequency distribution width less than type in the These are the columns. Okay. Now, cumulative frequency zero, seventy, twenty five, forty, forty eight, fifty four. 57, 59, 60. Friends, now in less than time. Okay, 
sorry, I was correct at the first pixel. This is my little mistake. Again repeating the thing. For cumulative frequency with less than type, first will be lower, all are upper. So see, all are upper. 35 is upper, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65 and 70. All these are upper, first is lower, first is lower. Now, how we will write the things? See. Sorry, this is uh, this will come here. All are upper. All are upper. See, 35 is upper. 40 is also upper. So in the same line, it should be compulsorily upper limit, not the lower limit. So 35, 40 till 70, everything should be upper. So I have written upper. And 30 is the first lower. So here is the first class, and first lower is 30. So the space will be done here. Again, I am repeating for the more than type. All are lower, so directly start with here. And the last is upper, so dash will come here. And in the less than type, all are uppers except the first one. All are uppers except the first one, so first will be dash, and so first limit will come here. Okay? Now 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 60. Yes. Now frequency. That's all for the day. The remaining sums we will continue with tomorrow. That's all for the day. Thank you.